Hello everyone. Uh, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a different screen today. Um because uh, I kinda sorta of messed up. The episode that should be here for you today was lost, quote unquote, uh in a series of uh well, through a series of uh events and uh you know i mean it, it wasn't a particularly important uh chapter i mean the episode is only about 10 minutes long anyway um uh we did the, all we really missed was uh some conversations in the level and naz final um converse, um supports with uh gregor and uh noe um but uh, if you've noticed by the length of this video, I'm probably not going to be doing just Gregor and Noe's supports with Nah. Uh, I'm gonna do the next best thing about chapter 22, uh, an ill presage, or passage, or whatever it was actually called. Um, I'm gonna be reading you the, uh, script for the, uh, episode, I suppose. Uh, I, I thought I could say something clever, but, um, no. Well, I guess I could say that, no, uh, the next best thing is not to steal footage from other people. Um, I'm gonna, gonna read, gonna read the thing, of course, gonna, most, it's gonna sound a bit, you know, off, considering some things, uh, but, uh, you know, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I'm giving this to you guys. I probably didn't really need to do it. I, I've missed episode, entire episodes out of uh, Let's Plays of mine. But, um, yeah, so we'll uh, jump straight into the opening with uh, Crom, Lisa, uh, a villager, uh, Frederick, and Lucina. And I shall start the scene. All these strange travellers. What's happening here? Let's ask him. Um, excuse me, sir? Sir? The appointed time to the dragon's table. Our prayers. Grima. Right. I'll just be backing away slowly then. Sire. Frederick, have the scouts returned? Yes, my lord, and with grim news, Valadar has moved to a great altar to Grima known as the Dragon's Table. What's more, it seems all the Grimleal and Plegia are headed there as well. It's as if they've been drawn by some unseen force. Any idea what it all means? Who can say, sire? They speak only gibberish and plod on as if possessed. The cataclysm in Lucina's future. It shows all the signs of leading to it. Damn, his destiny is a stubborn business. We cannot give up. And we will not. We make for this dragon's table and quickly. Come, everyone. Then, the level begins, I suppose. Uh, basically the same, just add in Aversa and Validar. That's about all that happens with the characters. The Elysians have finally caught up to us, my lord. Delay them, but carefully. We must reclaim Nathan's power. Ah, oh, yes, don't worry. I'll take extra care of Daddy's special little boy. Valdar! Sorry, I'm like, Valdar! Fools! Do you know where you've come? Return the Fire Emblem now, and we can end this. <laughs> you would end this? Yes, once and for all. My dear boy, we already know how the story ends. You and I both. And yet, you rush here. Were you so eager to meet the fell dragon yourself? Or perhaps your own fatal destiny? You would have that realized? <laughs> to hell with your destiny. I'll write a new ending. Oh, oh, oh. 
So now you believe you can change fate? And here I thought your exalted sister had delusions of grandeur. We've done it already. Your victory of a sad little gangrel. Or perhaps Woolhot's defeat. Those are meant to happen. They were preordinate, preordained. You were just another fallen motley, campering on the stage. But what about Emrin? You changed only the method of her death. Either way, she was planted in the ground. But that was was Gangrel's will, not yours, not Validar's. You aren't listening. All of this, every word and action, has been or orchestrated. Gangle held the exult in contempt, yes, so Validar and I used him in life and death. Uh, the king's demise threw pleasure into chaos. It drove the people to Grima. Now the life force and rancor can be laid before the fell dragon en masse. You couldn't mean... It is called the table for a reason, you naive little man. It is where Grima feeds. The Grimly will have gladly offered themselves to him for ages. Even now they pray for his return. Today the table overflows with bounty, and their prayers will be answered. I will never allow that to happen. But it already has. Happened in our future. This moment was set a millennium ago. How could anyone give their life so willingly to that thing? That monster? I will stop you. I will stop, Grima. Goodness, now you're starting to sound like Woolhart, the big bully. He intended to destroy Grima as well, you know. Our oh, thanks, incidentally, for taking him off the stage for us. Ugh, that's why you gave us your ships and treasure, but no soldiers. Get rid of Woolhart, but keep the faithful Plegians to set your god's table. Versa, it is time. I must prepare. As you command, Validar. Validar! Validar! No, come back! That obviously wasn't in the thing. Master Validar is not to be disturbed. But fear not. I have brought the dead lords to keep you entertained. These twelve generals were great warriors in life. And even, great, even greater now in death. I would introduce them one by one, but well, as you'll see, they're not much for talk. Besides, you'll meet the rules soon enough. And then that's where, you know, the battle begins and you start beating, beating the living daylights out of uh, these um, 12 dudes. Uh, and I say that, um, but uh, these guys are possibly the toughest enemies in the entire game, despite there being only 12 of them. Uh, now, of course... As is with most, uh, you know, bosses of the stage, there's different dialogue for whoever we fought, you know, person with. Uh, I, when I did it, I did it with Crom, so I'll be reading his thing to you. Final question, which? Before you die. Oh, then perhaps one final answer, boy. Before you fail. Who is Valdar? Why do you follow him? He is. A father to me. What? But... Your Nathan's sister? <laughs> you damn fool. Not literally. But he did raise me as if I were his own. He taught me everything. I was a poor, orphaned wretch with dirt for food. Yet Master Validar took me in. He provided when others would have watched me starve. I would never presume that he loves me, but he has everything I know of love. I would gladly die at his command. Even knowing his actions would destroy the world? But he is the world, and it is you that would destroy him. From where I stand, 
You are the aggressor here. How Nathan lives with the shame, attacking his own blood. Nathan sees beyond himself to the larger reality. One person's life means nothing in the shadow of millions. A sweet sentiment. An easily spoken when you bear no love for the one. But more difficult when you sap when the sacrifice was your exalted sister, wasn't it? I don't expect you to see the world through my eyes, Prince. But I won't pretend to understand how things look through yours. Then, I suppose there is nothing more to say. No. I suppose there isn't. And then we fight, 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 and, um, you know, beat her. Then we have, uh, the after battle thing, which isn't very long, by the way, so. Damn, she escaped. Versa wouldn't let Lee Validar before he was ready, even with her wounds. His preparations must be complete. We have to stop him. My future is upon us. We will, Lucina. I swear to you. We will. And there you go, there's the script for that. Now, uh, before I ruin the mood with this, um, I will, you know, do this. I will, I will do these conversations. Make it slightly more lighthearted. Me. Mm -hmm. Why, hello, father. What can I do for you? Yes. A belt other day when you said you were used to disappointment. Gregor is confused by this, yes? So. Oh, that. Uh, I was talking about growing up in my foster home. Oi. Wait, do you mean Gre no, he was not around to raise you? Uh -huh. No, I never knew either of my parents. I was sent to live with the family of one of my father's soldier friends. But my new family wasn't very welcoming to their semi-human mongrel foster child. Do not say such things. Trust me. I soon learned that I'd have to work hard to fit in and survive in my new home. I did chores before I was asked. I helped defend the house from marauding risen. Thought that if I could make myself useful they would stop hating me. I mean, how could they resent a child that always helps, that always helped, never asked for anything? And never asked for anything, sorry. They never accepted me. I just learned to deal with the disappointment. I had no friends, no one to talk to. I was utterly alone. And I never once mentioned how much I missed my father and mother. I... I didn't even ask when... <laughs> When, when would they come back for me? Nay. Yes. When I arrived here, I wanted to find out everything I could about them. <laughs> That's why I keep asking so many questions and making you angry. No, no. Gregor is sorry, Nay. He has been blind all this time, yes? Gregor, tell any story you want to know about mother. Even here we fall in love. And if you ever make of the sadness, Gregor would be right here by side. Long as he around, you'll never be lonely again. Truly? Did you really mean it? Oh, thank you, father. Think nothing of it. Now tell Gregor what you want to know. <laughs> Let's start with how you proposed to mother. What'd you say? What'd you do? I want to hear everything, and don't leave out even the smallest detail. What? Oh, he is the order. But very well. As you know, no, he always look young, and... And the end. And no, he's... <laughs> Come on now, I'm over here. <sighs> I don't think... I can't run... Anymore. Well, I suppose you can rest for a while if you really have to. So. <laughs> Don't you think we've played enough? Maybe we could study a bit. Boring! Mother, you do realize we're in the middle of a cataclysmic war, yes? 
The fate of the entire world depends on whether or not we emerge victorious. I know, that's why you have to get stronger and always be ready to fight. Which means we must study. Now, nah, when it comes to thinking or studying, I leave that to Crom and Nathan. I trust them to do their egghead jobs, and they trust me to fight. Uh, rude! Sorry, I had to get something in there. Yes, but training and studying, that's how we grow stronger. <laughs> you do know that training isn't the only way to make yourself strong, don't you? But how else? Wait, are these games how you practice for battle? <laughs> well, if you, if it tired you, it tired you out, didn't it? The more the play, the more you play, the stronger you get. Whoa. It appears I might have underestimated you, mother. And from now on, I'm going to start trusting you, trusting you, and start playing a lot more seriously. Playing seriously? Oh, now nah, that is so like you. And then weird 80s laugh track in the background. Anyway, guys, uh, I um, I hope you enjoyed this very short thing. If you liked it, please like the video, uh, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I, I, uh, I appreciate every little thing you do for me, the channel. It's, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all in, it's all in the name of Nathan. It's all, it's all very nice. Not just for me, for the, the community of Nathan Wenham, I suppose. But anyway, for now, this is the end, friend.